It's Wednesday, June the 13th, and you're tuned in to the Channel Podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Anthony. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show where we talk about all the cool things in the world. What's up, Anthony? Uh, nothing much. e 3 is happening. That's what's up. It is up. So and... we have a pretty much like a specially dedicated E3 episode. Yes, we do. I know do. the last couple of years we've done one per yeah. conference, but timing did not work out. Yeah, I wasn't around until like yesterday. Yeah, so... Uh, yesterday being the last day of the conferences. Now we're catching up. Yeah. So, uh, we have an E3 related question. Here we go. Paul Chu writes in. With the game lists and E3 coverage likely to come this week, I'll give you a short question. When do you start to get nervous about your cell phone battery? At what percentage do you start to feel anxious? What? Never? Never? You never worry about your cell phone battery? No, like, if it... Die like I've never looked at my cell phone battery while it's dying and being like, oh god no. <sighs> like, okay, I'm not never... a panic attack, <laughs> but like when do you start thinking like, oh man, I need to get a charge in. Like five. Five. Okay. Like I just that's when I just turn it on battery saver and then or just shut it off until I need it. Okay. Yeah, I think mine's at ten because that's when the bar goes from yellow to red. Uh huh. And then I realize okay, I should do that. I took the percentage meter off my phone. <laughs> Why? Because I just realized that I wouldn't stop looking at it. Oh. And so I took it off, and I've just been oblivious. Just rolling? Yeah, I just work with the colors. Okay. If it's in the green, it's fine. Yeah, ever since I got my new phone, like, it hasn't been an issue. Like, I always get through, like, maybe a day, day and a half without a charge. It's like every phone, though. Right after the first year, you'll be in a different situation. Yeah. Not looking forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I've never felt anxious. Anxious. Maybe it's just a weird choice of words. Yeah. All right, then. There it is. Short question. <laughs> short answers for a short question. So let's talk about E3. Um, I'll let you take the lead on this because... Okay, you want to break this down by conferences? You just want to talk about randomly what we like? How you want to format? Uh, whatever, man. All right, let's break it down by, by conferences. All right, let's go through. What's and I'll, I'll start listing games, and then you talk. You tell me if you want to talk about it or All right. not. All right, we're going to start with Xbox. Yeah. Battletoads. Nope. Cuphead. Nope. Cyberpunk 2077. Yes. All right. So Cyberpunk 2077 is the new game by CD Projekt Red. I love these guys. Who did The Witcher. Yeah. Big fans. Big fans. Big fans. Yes. Uh, this game looks bonkers. It does. Because it's really like, I don't know. I feel like whenever someone is like, our game is cyberpunk. Like they never lean into it. But this game is like <clears throat> really leaning into it. Any sort of cyberpunk trope you can think of is, is yeah. there. And in true CD Projekt Red fashion, they came out uh, with like, I think like an interview or just a blurb later on uh, after they revealed the game that they're like, hey, listen, just so you know, there's going to be full frontal nudity and possibly fucking in this game. Yeah. Like in in true CD Projekt Red Witcher style. I don't know if you're going to be collecting sex cards like the old games, but it's there just in case you need your digital boobs. Okay. So yeah. That looks really cool. Those Devil May cool. Cry 5. I don't... You want to talk about it? Yeah. I'm Cause, indifferent. Because I, I think that Capcom just stole Ninja Theory's design for Dante and then put it on Nero. What do you mean? <laughs> so in this trailer, yeah. uh, Nero has the short gray hair. Yeah. He's got a robot arm. Yeah. Because Nero gets his arm cut the fuck off. Yeah, in right? 4? Well, in this game. Oh, okay. Right? And then Dante, actual Dante, appears at, at the, the end of the game. Long hair, beard. He's looking old. Yeah. Um, but Nero's current design looks like Ninja Theory's DMC Dante's design. Okay. Like young, shitty teenager Dante. Yeah. And everyone complained about that. Cap- I think Capcom at one point said, like, eh, I don't know. like mm-hmm. It doesn't look great. Mm-hmm. But then they took the design and then applied it to Nero. And now everyone's like, this is fine now. Yeah. Right? That's dumb. Uh, They own the design. I guess they own the design, I guess. But it's just, man. It's just like, fuck you, Ninja Theory. We didn't like your thing, but we're going to steal it. Sure. That's how it's done. I guess. Uh, But yeah, Nero's got like a new mechanical arm in replace of his demon arm. But you can, it's still got. He still has the demon arm. No, he got the demon arm cut off. That's why he has the metal arm. And so it's got some upgrades where you can do like electric blasts and stuff. But he's still got like all the demon dunks. And yeah. stuff like that. I'm just waiting for the Welcome to the Jam remix. Of... So we're Nero again? We're Nero again. And Dante. And then the rumor is that Virgil's back. Oh. So. And that's who cut off his arm. 
Virgil. Yeah. Came up with a sword and was like, later punk. Well, the thing is, I think it's like his powers are like his soul is in the Yamato. But then because Nero has the Yamato, he can like devil trigger with Virgil's soul. Yeah. So Virgil's trying to take his soul back. So he cut off his arm. I don't know. The DMC lore is fucking weird. Yeah. All right. That was about it. They showed some gameplay. It looked like Devil May Cry, like obnoxiously baditude. Yeah. Division 2. You, yeah. You played the first Division. I liked it. They're finally adding raids to this. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I got nothing to say about this because I never played the first one. But it's, it looks like the first one. It does. Anything to add? No. Anything you want from uh, it? Are you even interested in playing it at all? I don't know. See, I, I would have been had Anthem not been a thing. True. We'll get to that later. Yeah. But but otherwise, Divi- like, Division's still cool. It's just, I wish the first game had more. Maybe this one's gonna... Uh... Maybe it'll fix the mistakes, but is it, like, too late? It could be. I think it is too late. Yeah. Uh, Seiko, Seikyo, Shadows Die Twice. Seiko, I'm wearing a Seiko. <laughs> You're a Seiko? Yeah, Seiko Watch. Yeah. Uh... It's the new game by From Software. Mm. Uh, it's that one where the teaser came out where it was like a forearm bone with a thing in the middle. Remember oh, that? Oh, that's what this yeah, is? Yeah, so that was teasing that this game. And it's like... They made like a samurai action game. Yeah, they made a Ninja Dark Souls. Yeah. Right? And your your arm can like... Um, can like use, use as a grappling hook. Again, another arm thing. Yeah, it's a lot of arm things. The Japanese like arms, all right? <laughs> And they like putting things on your arm to make them weirder. Oh yeah, this is the one where like he's he's dead on the one arm. Yeah, it's just bones on the yeah. one arm, right? Uh, and then there's something to do with like the death mechanic, where just like in Dark Souls, like if you die twice, you lose all your shit. Yeah. So I don't know how much different it is because there's some stealth stuff that makes me think of Tenchu. Yeah. And the game style kind of makes me think of Tenchu. Yeah. But there's a lot of like action, just like straight up. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool, but I just want to see more gameplay, I guess. Uh, Jump Force. Yes. The new Shonen Jump game. It's been a while since I played a jump game. Naruto is just hanging out in like New York City and Luffy's yeah. on top of the American flag. Yeah. And they just beat up on Frieza. Yeah. So some gameplay came out of this and it's uh, three on three battles. Um, I'm still too, I'm still unsure if it's like three on three tag or if it's one person with two assists. Like that kind of a game. Uh, all... It's got to be like a smash. I guess it wouldn't be like a smash. Like no, no, no. Game. It's it's like it's almost like um, those Budokai games oh, where it's behind the back. That's disappointing. Behind the back, that's third person. Like it's kind of like that. I was hoping for like the DS ones where it's four players. No, I want that. Yeah, I want that, but it wasn't. Yeah. I I don't know if you can like get make like decks and like. Make you mean your, comas? Yeah, your, make your coma decks and yeah. make your own comic book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were great because you can have all the power-ups or like how you wanted to make your team. You could have like, oh, I want two characters that are kind of powerful. I want one character. I just want final Bunkai Ichigo with yeah. just surrounded in power-ups. Yeah. Right? I gotta play that game again. It's a good game. It's a very good game. Uh, but that was pretty much everything interesting I saw from Xbox. Uh, oh, Halo Infinite. Is a video game. Yep, it is. That's all they said. They yep. just said it's a video game. Is New Gears of War? New Gears of War. Yeah, you play as the girl character. I don't know, I play Gears Four. I didn't play any Gears, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, and was there any? Th- and oh, Gears of War now has pop vinyls. Yes. Yeah, because I know you love toys, so just, I thought that was a hot pickup for you. Nope. You love toys. It's your favorite. Mm. Mm. Uh, after that, I have here. I have Bethesda. So let's go down the list again. Rage 2. Yeah. It looks very mediocre. <laughs> yeah. It looks very mindless. Yeah. It doesn't look great. Doom Eternal is a video game because mm. it's just a teaser. Mm-hmm. Wolfenstein is having a spinoff where you play as BJ Blazkowicz, Blazkowicz's twin daughters. This could be interesting depending on how you get to play as the twin daughters. True. And also how that game, and that's because you've never played those games, right? No. How those games handle female characters, I am expecting some really badass shit to happen. Okay. Because there's a scene, uh, I'm going to slightly spoil a scene yeah. in Wolfenstein 2, where your pregnant wife um, sh- like shields you from a grenade blast, mm-hmm. and then her jacket's on fire, and she rips it off, and while she's on top of you, she's holding two AKs, 
blasting Nazis while pregnant and naked. Whoa. <laughs> while covered in Nazi blood. Whoa. Like, so if they get even close to that amount of crazy with these characters... That's some imagery. It sounds, uh, it sounds like a good time. Mm. Fallout 76. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what? this is actually just a game. So this is just a Fallout game. It's apparently four times bigger than Fallout 4 in terms of map size. Uh, but the main catch here is you are able to play that game fully online with other vault dwellers. So like a Borderlands? Kind of. I think it's a little bit different. Like, it's not that you queue up for a game together you just so like Destiny. i think it's more so you, you turn that shit on and then you can run into people oh. and then either you can decide to team up or just i'm gonna kill you and take your stuff so destiny right yeah kind of like that uh but you still have the option to just be solo, be solo and explore to your heart's content be home but it is a prequel to all the other nice. fallouts it's the the very first nice yeah. uh then we have elder scrolls blade Oh. Which is an Elder Scrolls game for your phone. Oh, God. And it really emphasizes how simple Elder Scrolls gameplay is. Because <laughs> it's just swiping back and forth and, like, tapping for magic spells, right? So, so depressing. Big news here, though. You play a portrait mode. Hell yeah. That's its old man. That's Because I need my other hand. Yeah, you need your other hand for, like, getting a coffee. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> just like Todd Howard said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the Elder Scrolls train, we have Skyrim Very Special Edition. I don't know if this is real because I don't own an Amazon Alexa. It's not real. It's got to be real. No, it's they not have real. to have put it's it on. It's a joke. No, it's got to be it's real. It's a joke. Because they said they ported Skyrim to Amazon Alexa. No, it's a joke. No, it's got to be real. I it's like to believe joke. it's real. It's a joke. Buy an Alexa and find out. <laughs> no. And then the biggest announcement was just Elder Scrolls 6 is a video game. Yes, it is. They showed a foresty landscape. <gasps> They had the logo, and they didn't even have a subtitle yet. They, but they showed me everything I wanted to see. <laughs> that a things in development. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm not expecting to see this game for like three years. Well, you don't know anything. <laughs> I know things. <laughs> I can't just say that. Nope. Uh, next was Square Enix. They didn't really have a conference. They just played a video of the president talking for about thirty seconds, and then just rattled trailers off. Really? Yeah. That's all they did. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh. So they have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. They showed a bunch of gameplay from that. Yeah, I'm into that. Laura, you said it best. Laura Croft is Batman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's she's a murder machine now. When she uh, arrowed that guy in the shoulder Woo! and then hung him by a tree. Like, yeah. that's some next level shit. Also, yeah. I don't think Laura was heavier than that guy to make that work. So. No. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But they've taken... Um, They've taken her murder antics to a new level. A new level, pretty much. Uh, we have some crossovers with Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy fourteen. Mm. So in Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, they've added the potion drink emote for characters that you can get. Right. But also they've added a raid where you can fight a Rathalos. Yeah. And so that sounds pretty cool, but I don't play that game. Uh, the one I care about is in Monster Hunter World. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get a Cactar cat. I believe, and you can fight the behemoth and get like a special armor set. It's one of the title updates coming out in the summer, just like the the past two was it Lunastra right. and yeah, Lunastra, yeah, the giant gold dragon, yeah, Kulev Dorath, yeah, Dorov, yeah. Be back yet? Uh, no. Okay. I want his stuff, and I haven't been back yet. Okay. Dragon Quest Eleven. It's a thing. It's it's Dragon Quest. It looks like yeah. Dragon Quest. Babylon's Fall. This Th one is... This one was a bunch of pictures, and then a knight had, like, red arms come out of his back. Right. Who is this by? Is this a, Platinum? The, this is a new Platinum Games game. Cool. I imagine this is, like, leftover assets from Scalebound. You think so? Yeah, they're like, we need to make a game. Yeah, maybe. Sure. So, there's that. Uh, they didn't really show much. Just Cause 4 has new physics. I just saw a tornado. Yeah, better cars. It has a tornado. And you can add balloons to your grappling hook. So exciting. <laughs> the Quiet Man is a game about a deaf dude who beats oh, people up. Oh, yeah. This one was weird because it starts off in like full motion video, like an actual, like actual actors. And then just turns into a yeah. video game for some reason. Yeah. It looks super dumb. 
does. Mainly because the main character looks straight out of My Chemical Romance. So I don't get it. Is he supposed to be Daredevil except he can see and not hear? I I guess. Like, what is, is he, like, really good at feeling stuff? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what the upside to that is. Like, I think that just sucks. <laughs> I'm fucking deaf. What am I gonna... <laughs> Can he smell real good? I want you to guess what his magical I bet, power is. I bet you that it's like totally not unrelated, and because he lost his hearing, he can now slow down time. Ugh, it's just bullet time? Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever, it's Max Payne. Yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, and then the announcement to end all announcements. Kingdom Hearts 3. What? Dude, Aqua got norted. Well. <laughs> it was coming. It was coming. The, the, the number one thing about this announcement that really upsets me mm-hmm. is that now... All those side games yeah. are mandatory. They matter. So when you get those like HDified versions oh, of the old man. games, I have to play them now. The, so that here's the thing: the side, like the really side games, like the three eighty two over two days or whatever. Those games are just cutscene movies. Yeah. Right. Um. But like, yeah, Chain of Memories. Well, I love more, that game. That's a good game, and I. I think I own the PS2 edition of that game. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty hard to find. Like, because I have it on Advance? Yeah. It was on Game Boy Advance, and they ported it over to PS2. Or not ported, but they remade it for PS2. Yeah, because I, ha- I remember I bought that. Yeah. yeah. So the remake on the HD one is the... I gotta look for these is games. The PS2 one. Yeah, figure. you should give them to me. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um... So yeah, Kingdom Hearts is happening. They showed a bunch of frozen levels. They showed some tangled stuff. Yeah. A lot of different superpowers. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Aqua's back. King Mickey got trapped because he sucks, apparently. Riku's still there. Yeah. But it's... And, like, Roxas still exists, but in, like, the cyber universe. Because, what was it? The nowhere, the, tra- the town Roxas was in was, like, a computer simulation. Yep. But then it wasn't at some point. I don't know, man. Kingdom Hearts is stupid. I'll still buy it. <laughs> they put a date on it. Oh, did they? I don't remember what it was. January. Ooh. 29th. Yeah. That makes sense. Along with a new PS4. Oh, yes. The PS4 Pro. That but, looks very nice. But the most important announcement is... What? Buy all games ever in one package. Oh, yeah. You, you can get them all. Yeah. All in a pack just so in case. So I'm glad I waited. And I will get them all in a package. I'll just buy them again. All I'm saying is that when I bought them, I got a special limited edition pin from Disney. So, there you go. I can take it to Disneyland and trade. It's the small things in life. 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 And they should know. Devolver Digital happened. The only announcement I care about from this conference is Metal Wolf Chaos. That's coming back. It's coming back. You don't have to pay $250 for an Xbox copy anymore. Mm -hmm. For people who don't know, look it up. It's the fuck. You're the president of the United States. And you're you're applied at a mech. Yeah fantastic or so yeah okay sure uh ubisoft happened mm. i want to talk about just dance for a second because just dance 2018 is getting released but they're also releasing it on the wii the wii the wii the wii not, not the wii u the wii the wii they're releasing a wii game in 2018 good for them i know right good for them good for them uh other than that they showed beyond good and evil 2 a lot of cinematics. It's all cinematic. All cinematics. Looking very stylish. Yeah. Uh, but they finally showed Jade. Yeah. And she's bad. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she took a <laughs> she took a note from fucking Britney Spears. And... Yeah. She is. She's wearing the all black and then yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what's happening she's in that start game. Singing stronger. But it's all cinematics. Like this is this is the point in E three where I was getting really disappointed in seeing like only cinematic trailers yeah i just want to see gameplay mm. um i think the also the the one note about this game is that joseph lord and joseph gordon levitt has a company that's called was like press record or press hit, hit record hit record and it's uh what they're doing is that they're taking artists and who do drawings and music and stuff and they're basically outsourcing all of their art or a lot of their art for the game so if you want to have graffiti of yours in in Beyond Good and Evil 2, you can go through their company and they can pick your stuff to put it in the game. Oh, wow. And they credit you and stuff. They're like outsourcing art and music. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like really interesting. Uh, Are they paying these people? I assume so. I assume so. 
Okay. Don't quote me on that. All right. uh, Trials Rising. Trials. It's Trials. Okay. Mario and Rabbids Donkey Kong Adventure. Been here, done that. Done it. Oh, there's probably like a banana pun in there. Been here, done it. Banana pun? What? No, there's probably a banana pun in there. Like, what? I can't think of it. I'll think of something. Slipped on this peel before? What, what? <laughs> it's pretty good. Skull and Bones. Oh, yes. The boat ship game. Yeah, you want to be a pirate, <laughs> but never leave your boat. <laughs> oh, fuck. You can do that. Mm. Uh, this game is really odd because everything about it screams pirate esports. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, it, it looks so complex and, and great, but it's just boat ship battle. It seems like it's the For Honor of boats, yeah. right? Where For Honor was really complicated person-on-person -person combat. Yeah. This is a really complicated boat-on-boat -boat And there's nothing else to it. Yeah. Dude, you get different boat stuff. And you have a boat. Yeah, and you press triangle to group up. I thought that... <laughs> it's like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, Elijah Wood has his game, uh, Transfer Transference. Which <laughs> Transferring? I keep thinking about transferring when I talk about it. Um, but it's the horror VR game. Yeah. This game looks weird. It's creepy, but also, like, VR games are... are are something that's hard to, for me to get excited about because I don't have any VR systems. Uh, I don't have Oculus. I don't have PSVR. Shame. I don't have any of that stuff. So what are we? It's kind of it's hard to get hyped for it. Okay. Star Fox is back. Is he? But not how you want it. Oh. He's back in Starlink Battle for Atlas. <sighs> so is Starlink out yet? No. Okay. Starlink, if people forgot, is the video game where you fly spaceships, but you have to buy toy spaceships. And you connect them to your controller. Gosh. And then you have a controller on... Or you have a spaceship on top of your controller. And you can, like, swap out parts on the fly. My god. Think of, like, the, the Lego base or the Disney Infinity base. But, but it's, it's on, your, on your controller. <laughs> These kids are going to up with the, the biggest arms. Yeah, they're going to be lifting all the time. Yeah. Do you even lift, bro? So, yeah, you can get the... You can get a uh, R-Wing Starlink toy. Fox is in it. It's a video game. Okay. And then the, the last one was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They are taking Assassin's Creed to Greek, to Greco-Roman times. And uh, you can now pick between a boy or a girl, whoever cool. you want to decide to play. But you were saying that you were actually interested in this game after seeing yeah. the gameplay of it. Why? Because it doesn't look like Assassin's Creed. It kind of doesn't. Like, they're not running on rooftops. No, they're... it looks like The Witcher. He's riding a horse. Which is pretty good. He's got army combat. Yeah. I mean, the 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 make or break thing here is is the game structure like Assassin's Creed? Because if it's just go tower to tower, collect this, collect that, mm -hmm. then I'm out. But if it's more structured like The Witcher, where it's a lot more story based narratives and quests and interactive or inter crossing uh, side stories and subplots, then I'm way more into it. Okay, I'm still checked out <laughs> on Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I played. I played. What I played one, two, the one after two, Brotherhood. Sure. The one after that one that was still two. Yes. And then I played three, and then three yeah. sucked. Yeah. And I just didn't play anymore. Right. And I'm still kind of burnt out. Okay. So, I feel like I didn't the Egyptian one just come out last year or yeah. this year? Last year. Assassin's know. Creed. Uh, an, an Assassin's Creed game a year is too. What bad. was it called? Or Origins. Origins. Yeah, because this is Odyssey. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was like the first assassin or whatever. Okay. I don't know. They killed Desmond. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. Uh, so after Ubisoft is Sony, they started off with The Last of Us Two. This was a long gameplay demo. Oh, I was so into it. It was so good. I was so into it. Um. I like how it starts off with basically a bunch of years later they have civilization sort yeah. of right like the clicker still exists things still exist uh gangs still exist but you kind of have a community right and Ellie's got a new girlfriend that's just she? like cute little interaction yeah, yeah. between all that stuff she's but, a fucking murderer dude you know what I think about when I'm kissing girls <laughs> fucking murder. <laughs> Because the way they cut that is super weird. Yeah. <laughs> but this game looks gruesome. Yeah. Uh, even though they showed a, kind of a lot of gruesome stuff in the previous trailers, 
Uh, even the gameplay looks more gritty. Yeah. Just they have more details in just like how people take shots. There was a scene where Ellie had an arrow in her shoulder that she had to rip out. Um, the one where she's under the truck and that girl gets shot in the face and you see the bullet hole in her cheek. Yeah. Like very specifically. Like they're really going for that gritty, gross, post-apocalyptic yeah. type of shit. I still think that she got hit in the face with that sledgehammer one too many times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's still the thing of, like, the player character has, like, plot armor, right? Yeah, it's just like, she got wailed in the face Yeah, with she should have got hit once and it was over. Yeah. But I still don't know what's with Ellie. Like, why? what's the whole thing of, like, oh, they all need to die. Like, who are these people? Like, what happened? Is it because of the cannibal thing from the first game? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But... It's looking, it's looking really good. It's got some of the nicest foliage I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> that grass see. looks good. <laughs> I don't know. Does it look as good as the Tomb Raider grass? It looks better than the Tomb Raider grass, man. I don't man. know. Dude. Those individual leaves and shit. What the, I don't know. That halo grass looks good, too. The halo grass looks like butt. The halo grass looks great. Whatever. Uh, after that, they had a really long gameplay uh, segment of Ghost of Tsushima. Fuck this game. This game looks like shit. <laughs> well, hold on. I think it looks gorgeous. <laughs> no, but also on. like shit. Every everything about the gameplay of that game seems very stiff. Oh my god. Everything everything is just like there's no flu, especially coming off of The Last of Us and everything is very fluid and yeah. and like everything leans into each other in terms of animation. This one just looks either early or garbage. <laughs> uh, like some of these animations feel like early PS3 shit. Yeah. So it also didn't help I don't know maybe it's just me but it was so like cliche and pandering to oh wait you don't have samurai fights in the middle of <laughs> red leaves falling off i the know tree. i was like what while am mongols I... are setting fire to the <laughs> scenery yeah. around you? and it's your best friend it's your best friend they betrayed you and then they forgave because it's the spirit of the warrior oh, and they have fuck. a common goal vince oh man this game <laughs> This is easily, out of the three Samurai Ninja games they showed at E3, yeah. this, this is my least favorite. This might be my least favorite re reveal of the show. It, the teaser looks so good. <laughs> the teaser looks so good. What happened? Uh, Sucker Punch happened. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> that looks like shit. After this was Control. Oh yeah. I yeah. think Control is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing games I saw at any of the conferences. This is the Team Remedy game? Yeah, this is a Team Remedy game and they have the breathing gun <laughs> and everything yeah. breaks apart into cubes. It's PsyOps 2. Yeah, it is. It's it's PsyOps 2. You're using psychic powers to fling mm. shit across an arena. Yeah. You're killing enemies with weird you might psy guns. You might have a point. <laughs> it's PsyOps you 2. You might have a point. Not much to say because they didn't really show all yeah, that much. Yeah. A lot of mystery. Resident Evil 2 Remake. When Leon showed up, I was like, oh my god. Young Leon S. Kennedy. Yeah. Looking young as a motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I guess they haven't remade Resident Evil 2 because they remade 0, they remade 1. <sighs> yeah. Um. They. Oh, what else did they remade? They remade another one. It wasn't three. It wasn't three. It, it wasn't, wasn't Nemesis. Nemesis. Nemesis is rad. Why didn't they do Nemesis? Well, because they got to do two first. I guess they got to do it in order. You're right. Yeah. This is also this release is also cementing the fact that video games are now like movies. Yeah. In the sense that there will be remakes down the road yeah. of old movies. Yeah. Just like that. But the thing is, with video games, you can keep all the old actors, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you could. You don't have to recast Leon S. Kennedy because yeah. he's not a person, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I like Resident Evil 2. It's fun. I it it's just has the um over the shoulder camera. Yeah. It's got that. So I'm kind of That's pretty cool. I'm kind of disappointed. I I'm sure there'll there'll be a way where you could play it like tank controls. Yeah. Yeah. But they're probably building enemies in such a way that it works with the over-the-shoulder camera, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I can't wait till they redo Nemesis. That'll be fun. I think they can do a lot of cool stuff with current tech. 
that they couldn't do with Nemesis yeah. on the PS1. That's a good game. Mm. That's fun. Oh uh, yeah, and that's getting released January twenty fifth. All right. Yeah. Um, Death Stranding had oh. another long trailer, and it totally cleared up what this game is about. It did not. <laughs> it did. It did the opposite of that. It just posed more questions. Uh, they had a lady eat a bug. Yes. Yeah. Um, Norman Re- like it kind of explains how Norman Reedus' suit works. No, it doesn't. Which is like the the little clappy light thing is like a ghost detector. So the, the theory going around now, because during the dialogue, uh, they're saying that like don't let the don't let the ghost get you, mm-hmm. because even though you'll survive, you'll you'll get like uh, like it'll still ruin the area around it, right? Yeah. You'll still get fucked up because it'll get power. So the rumor is that the babies are clones of yourself. Whoa! And because in the previous trailers, the ghost can rapidly age you, they can rapidly age babies. To become newer clones of you when you Whoa. die. And they transfer your consciousness into the baby. That's too much. And that's why guys can get pregnant. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Ow. I'm still hoping this is a huge bait and switch. Oh, and it's just it's just <laughs> yeah. something else? It's yeah. like magical girl something or other? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That'll be fun. I hope, I hope it's just a huge bait and switch. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Kojima. This one's especially specifically for me. Neo 2 got oh, announced. Yeah. Was that just an announcement? It was it was a like, like a, a title a short, screen? It was a short like CG animation. Yeah. Uh and then Yeah. The title. Yeah. That Neo 2 is a thing. Yeah. And coming off of just playing Neo and me loving that game, yeah. super excited. Yeah. Uh, that's all there is to go on that. And then Spider-Man had a very long gameplay demo at the end. Yeah. That game looks stylish. It looks cool. They make web slinging look very fun. Mm-hmm. And just like, not in terms of just gameplay, but also visually like how they're running on walls, just jumping through obstacles where you have all the web zip options and stuff like that who's making this insomniac insomniac's making okay. it okay. uh electro they made electro not look stupid electro electro yeah i yeah. guess yeah uh okay so electro's back rhino's back scorpion's back vulture's back uh and then the ghost dude the mm-hmm. ghost japanese guy mm-hmm. and just at the end of the trailer after they show all the gameplay and web slinging and stuff uh, someone shows up to save Spider-Man. Yeah, it sounds like Iron Man. Wait, someone saves him? Yeah, cause it he's about to get his ass beat. Yeah, right. And then apparently someone comes. He's like you, and it's like he says it in a way that's like, oh, I got help. Yeah. Right. And there's a bunch of robot noises, mm-hmm. so it makes me think it's Iron Man. You think it's? You think it's Iron Man? Yeah, based on just the fact that him and. Like Spider Man and Iron Man hang out in the movies, so they might bring that over. But I don't know. It's all speculation. I thought it was some guy who was leading the charge on the evil guys. So oh, I... you think he was like another bad guy? I thought it was Doc Ock. That'd be good. Yeah. Kingpin. No. No. Why not? No. See that for the Punisher game. You're right. Gross. <laughs> and then the last one, uh, always on the third day, is Nintendo. They showed Damon X Machina. Oh my god, this game looks amazing. Anime Armored Core slash Virtual On. Yeah, this looks good. This looks it looks good. very good. They have a lot of uh, gameplay out for it now. They showed a lot of it in the is Nintendo it Treehouse. Is it it looks awesome. Okay. This I is rec- at the summer? Yeah, I, re- I recommend checking it out. It's also made uh, developed by Marvelous. Yeah. I believe they're the co- they're either the publisher or the co-developer mm-hmm. on the No More Heroes games. Okay. So that kind of shows where the style comes from mm. but i'm pretty pretty excited for that i that i've never heard of that before was that a reveal because i didn't hear about it before. i think it was a reveal okay. I, I didn't hear anything about it after that was xenoblade chronicles 2 is getting a dlc yeah uh that just reminds me that i should finish that game okay. but i've realized that yeah uh even though I'm like 80 hours into that game, I still think I'm 40 hours away from the end of the game. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Those games are so long. Uh, going back, Marvelous. Yeah. Are responsible for. Oh, Senran Kagura games. Senran Kagura. Damn. Uh, and Monster Stories, Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, 
Okay, I was off. I was way off. What am I thinking of? Uh, Valhalla Knights. Yeah. Electro for- Plus Blasters, Heroines, Infinite Duel. Oh, the ultimate fighting game. <laughs> yeah. With Super Sonico. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's that's what they're responsible for. Well, some... <laughs> Some weeb ass shit. So you know there's some quality. That's quality. No, no, no. Those, those Senran Kagura games. Those are fun. Oh, okay. There's a side note. There's a Senran Kagura game that uh, the Site Limited run is releasing mm-hmm. uh, for the Vita. Mm-hmm. It's a rhythm cooking game. But when you cook real good, girls lose their clothes. So it's Food Wars. So it's Food Wars, but Senran Kagura ninjas. Wow. And also Parappa the Rapper. Oh. <laughs> I can get down. I'm down. I'm down with that. Uh, the biggest non-game announcement, Pokemon Plus Ball. <laughs> <laughs> For the fucking Pokemon Go game. 50 bucks? Yeah. 50 bucks, American, comes out November 16th. Pre, pre-captured within the ball is a Mew. Oh my god. god. I know, right? So you need a Mew. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? You He's need, number 151. You need a $50 Pokeball. I do. Yeah. Super Mario Party is a Mario Party game I will play. Wow. <laughs> uh, take note, he'll actually buy. I haven't said that since the first Mario Party game. <laughs> Anthony's really excited for this. This looks really cool. They're, lotting, they're doing a lot of cool stuff with the Switch where you can like combine the screens to play certain mini games and to change up maps. Uh, just different multiplayer stuff for Anthony. versus... That implies you need two copies of this game and some other punk who's going or sucker who's going to buy this with you. Vince, your birthday <laughs> no, is soon. Your birthday sooner. It is, but it doesn't come out on near my birthday. Well, that's a shame. I guess you're never getting that game then. I'll still get it, but I might buy two for someone's birthday. <laughs> wow. What a <laughs> curse. What a curse. I'll gift you a party. Uh, no. A Mario party. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. Not. You love parties. You wouldn't like to throw a party. I don't love parties. You love parties. You love being social. I also don't like Mario that much. <laughs> you love both those things. Uh, I know you do love though. Fire Emblem. Oh, there's a new Fire Emblem game. Yes. So, my notes here say this is looking like an SRPG as SRPG. Yeah. Spring 2019. Yeah. It seems to have army controls, and I don't know if this is new. I don't know if it's army controls or if they just made your unit have an army now. So, like, you know how, like, because technically when they go out, like, the way Farmer works is when they're going around on the battlefield and you see one guy fight another guy, Mm -hmm. technically it's like Dynasty Wars. You have a lord and his infantry units. Mm -hmm. Only now they're showing you that. And you can, like, set the infantry up in, like, different formations. Yeah, so... For, for for fans of Fire Emblem, they know that for in order for Fire Emblem to succeed, they have to kill something off. Which is Waifu Simulator. No, no, no. <laughs> They're killing off all the waifus, because no, I didn't see any dating options. They had to kill off Advance Wars, because this is the same developer. Uh... And, I, and this looks like they're bringing back a lot of the the concepts and, and ideas from Advance Wars, because let's face it, Nintendo's not going to let them make another Advance Wars. Because Fire Emblem's too popular now. What's that game that came out on PS4 that's like Advance Wars? You mean the one that's supposed to be on Switch soon that is Advance Wars? Yeah. I don't know. I forget what it's called. I want to yeah. buy that. Yeah. But I don't... Listen. Are you... There's what? going to be the waifu simulator. There's going no, to be... No, there's no more waifus. They got no. rid of it. They're like, they did five games of that, and they're like, no more waifus. They're Nobody gonna be... There's, don't worry. Don't worry. Mark my words. There will be child breeding. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> and you will get to min-max their features. <laughs> Just, I'm like imagining like an online dating profile. I'm looking for a woman to breed with. <laughs> <laughs> Must have high strength stat. <laughs> yeah. Maximum luck, yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. Fire Emblem's dumb until I play one and like it. Oh, it's so good though. I'm still thinking of playing Awakening, but oh, that's, I don't know. that's the best one. Um, after that they had a they had, like, dude. I thought for a hot minute we were getting a new Viva Pinata, <laughs> and then it turned into Fortnite, uh, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I think I'm gonna play Fortnite on my Switch. You're not gonna play Fortnite on your Switch. You're yeah. gonna download Fortnite on your Switch and never play it. I think that's that's the optimal way to play. No, the optimal way to play is PC. No, because I can bring it to work and I'll actually play it. You won't play it. Hundred percent, you will not I play will it. I will try. You won't play it. I will. 
No, you'll download it. I'll see some because then I'll walk around the mall, see some kids playing, and be like, "Yo, let's play." No here. one's playing their Fortnite Switch at the mall. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do, are you at the mall enough to know that? Yes. No, you're not. The mall's not cool anymore, man. Trust me. Nine a.m. when the teenagers are walking around, some of them who can't, they're in the food court on their Switch. No, they're not. I'm gonna start a trend. <laughs> you're, you're you're gonna just drop a Switch on some old person, and be like. Yeah. Ah, Judith, you gotta get one of these switches. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. If you do it, I'll be very impressed. But you're not gonna play Fortnite. I'll get a picture. <gasps> I'll talk to EB Games. Maybe they'll do morning rentals. <laughs> That's like actually a smart business <laughs> idea. Fuck you. <laughs> Just rent it out to the old people who are tired and they bring it back before noon. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, then they showed a bunch of indie games. Uh, Overcooked 2 is a video game. It is. If you played the first one, it seems like it's just a more ludicrous version of that. Yeah. Uh, and then the only other one I care about is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is out on the Switch now. That's, oh, yeah, that is That out. is a very good video game. It is a Metroidvania. It's pretty hard, but it's that's a good game. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is good. But I still got to beat Shovel Knight. What's... I think Shovel Knight's better than Hollow Knight. Sealed. All right. Yeah. I don't need to play Hollow Knight. Yeah, then go play Go play Shovel Knight. Uh, and then they had like an hour of Smash Bros. First of all, it was 20 minutes. It was like five hours of Smash Bros. <laughs> and let's be real. It was the only game anyone who ever wanted to see at this. And they were able to show it all. I don't glory. care about Smash Bros. Uh, so big, <laughs> big news: every character that's ever been in Smash Bros. is back. I yeah, think that's the big news. They just threw balance at the window and like fuck this. Uh, and I think that, it looks like they switched up all the final smashes to just be like oh super quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not they're no they're no longer the prolonged, which I kind of like. Yeah, they just turned them into final moves, yeah. so it's nice. Uh, all your favorite stages are returning. There's new stuff. Yeah, you have to unlock characters. But... Yeah, I think they had... I mean, obviously the characters are going to have some changes to them. Um, but yeah, there's over 60 characters, and there's some new additions. Like Ridley from Metroid. You mean uh, the star from the new Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, totally. Daisy Ridley? Yeah, Daisy Ridley. Yeah, yeah totally. She's in it. And uh, the Squid Kid. Oh, yeah, the Inklings are in it? Yeah. I mean, are they squids or are they kids? I don't know. They're things. They're things. They, they <laughs> exist. Yeah. So yeah, Ridley's in it from Metroid after it being a meme for like years. Yeah. Who else do they got to add now? I don't know. Like, is that it? I don't know. I'm a mi- Okay, so I guess the big news is they brought, they were able to get Snake back. Yeah. You know what the bigger news is? That David Hayter's It's voice. voiced by David Hayter in yeah. 2018. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What the hell? Also, they nerfed Snake. What? Because he doesn't have a butt anymore. <laughs> oh, gotcha. oh god i do think it's cool that with the eight costumes they've really gone into the, instead of just making them uh color swaps they've gone and make different actual costumes for the, most of the characters now yeah that's which, really which cool. is nice having three different links is weird but... yeah one of the costumes for bayonetta is rodan yeah like the black guy from that game yeah which is i think is pretty cool yeah uh, really Proto cool. Man and Bates show up in Mega Man Special. Yeah, that's really cool. What the fuck? Yeah. No, it's uh, I'm hyped. Yeah. I can't wait. For Looks this like game. a good game. It does look like a good game. But I'm not gonna buy it because fuck Smash. Yeah, whatever, man. When my when my senior citizen morning tournament start up. <laughs> as soon as they threw in sixty characters, I'm like, oh, so it's a party game. Yeah. It's not a fighting game. Sure. Yeah. Whatever, man. But they have uh, they have uh fighting game specific rule mode so don't worry you could have that yeah you know what like yeah. so does the bouncer. and like, when you do when you do one on one cameras change and and the move sets and priorities change so uh it's a real how are they game. gonna balance 60 characters out of the gate why do you think there hasn't been a smash in the past i don't know they're not balancing five years? all those characters yeah, they're, they're not yeah, no they're not true balance all i care about is that ice climbers is back and I hope to be able to do the grab wobble. Do you think Samus and Zero Suit Samus are the same character or different? I think they're different because they're different in the other games too. So are Zelda and Sheik going to be? I think it's one character. Well, I think they probably take up two spots, but they can transform into another. Because Zelda's down B. Zelda's down B is always transform into Sheik. Not on the DS and Wii U version. What? Same. Huh. That's what happened to Samus. Samus used to be Zero Suit or 
Or zero suit and power armor. Hmm. Her final smash would get rid of her armor. Oh, and then she turns into something else. Yeah, or if you started as her. Then they're probably separate. They want to fill, make all those characters. Don't you remember happen. they they had to separate it because they couldn't do it on the DS. That was the problem. Um... It was a hardware limitation. So because it's just the Switch, think they'll bring it back. Not nah. that I care. I only see zero suit anyway. Probably not. Probably not. Right. They nerfed Samus. No, they didn't. They did. They, they, nerfed, they nerfed zero suit Samus. How could they nerf her? She's her, too good. Her boobs are smaller. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. They're ner- Nintendo's nerfing assets all over the place. They don't mm. care about gender. Mm. Mm. I'm looking forward to this game. Is it this game a release date? Uh, this game holiday. I didn't write it down. If they did, but is this year? I don't. Fuck! It's fucking Smash. I don't give yeah. a shit. TJ says it's this year. Who cares? It's Smash. No so one cares. No, we're all buying it. No one cares. We're all buying it. Everyone's buying Mario Party. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so we have this on record. You're gonna stand by that, huh? Everyone's everyone's buying Mario Party. We're gonna have a great time. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Okay. You don't like Smash, but you wanna play Mario Party, okay. Yeah. Then I have some non conference picks. Yes you do. That I like, which uh Soul Calibur six is they showed off is a game. Yeah, they showed true. off some more story trailers. Yeah. Uh Dark Keelik and all this crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh but that that game gameplay wise is looking very good. Mm-hmm. It, they took the Tekken approach and added super moves. Looks good. And uh, cinematic shots. And cinematic shots and yeah. stuff like that. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. You know what else has cinematic shots? What? Smash Brothers. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You know why? Certain moves go into slow motion yeah, and nothing, zoom nothing in. Nothing cinematic about Smash Bros. Oh, cinem- man. You see that Smash Falcon Bros. Punch? It's not a fighting game. Damn. It's not a fighting game. It's not a fighting game. It's a party game. It's a sweet. Did party you know that game. now has aerial directional dodges, like hey. a real fighting game? So what? <laughs> what? No fighting game has aerial directional dodges. They have air dashes. Did you know that? Did you know that has a what do you call it? Uh, wake up commands now. Uh, that's dead or alive. That counts. I'll I'll give them that one. See, I'll give them that one. No, if they could have fighting game elements. Did you know it has destructible game. environments like dead or alive? So another game that came out. <laughs> Well, some indie game is called Tunic. Oh yeah, it's like a Fox Zelda. I think this is this along with Control was probably the most aesthetically pleasing game. Sure, uh, it looks very tilt shifted. Yes, uh, kind of reminds me of 3D Dot Game Heroes. Right, but it's it's a Zelda with a fox. I'm kind of down. So it's it just it looks nice. Star Fox Zelda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Except there's no R wing. Uh, there's a weird guy with. Sp- wings that can transcend dimensions at the end so there is a wing like yeah there's wings but not an r wing okay anubis yeah <laughs> okay uh and then the yakuza team uh showed more of yakuza kiwami 2 yes we've seen this game you can punch tigers you've seen the game before looks good uh but their announcement was fist of the north star lost paradise their fist of the north star game is being localized i yeah. never thought i'd see the day also, it has English voice acting through the whole game, nice. which is very surprising because the last game by the Yakuza team that yeah. had English in North America or had English at all in it was um, Yakuza 1 Yeah. on the PS1 mm-hmm. or PS2, sorry. Mm-hmm. And that had Mads Mikkelsen in it Yeah. and Luke Skywalker. Yep. So I don't think they have those names, but it is actually very surprising to see that. It's not surprising at all. Why? You are underestimating the anime fan base yeah, and, how, I, and how big anime is. I I overestimate their ability to keep it on English voices because <laughs> it has dual audio. Yeah, but you know what every, every anime fan wants? What? Options. No, they don't. That's why they buy the Blu-rays. No, they don't. So they can have the English, but then and then have the, the decision to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> All I've ever seen anime fans want is one waifu. And then they stick to it through thick and thin, even though their waifu choice is trash. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because everyone knows their waifu is trash. Wow. Bold words, Mario Party man. <laughs> Mario Party is my waifu. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and then the last one, I'm, I'm, it's still a mystery, is a Trigger Studio, famed anime studio. Yeah. The one that possibly saved anime. Possibly. And yeah, sure. And Arc Systems. Oh, yes. The one that saved Dragon Ball Z fighting games. I would say the one that saved fighting games at this point. Yeah. Street Fighter V fucking sucks. Yeah. 
Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom um, is and nowhere. Infinite sucks. Yeah. They got rid of that. That game doesn't get any support yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. They say fighting games currently. Yeah. Uh, they have a countdown site. <gasps> so the font on the countdown site is looking very Kill la Kill. Oh, no. So. Yes. Kill la Kill fighting game. Yes. Make it happen. What if. What? It's a Keys and Ivory game. That'd be weird because they don't really fight in that show. I know. <laughs> you just talk at each other forever. It's a visual novel. That's no. But plausible. does Arc System make visual novels? You should look it up. I think I should, but I'm pretty sure they only make fighting games. And if they don't, uh, then it's pro- if it's a fucking Keys and Ivory <laughs> visual novel, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> Dude, it's fighting games. It's they made Blaze Blue, Double Dragon, Guilty Gear, Persona 4 Arena, whatever Jake Hunter is. What did Persona 4 Arena have a lot of visual novel sections? But it's, it was still a fighting game. Maybe. No, it was a fighting game. It's not a maybe. Maybe. It was a fighting game. Maybe. <sighs> yeah, and then they made like old fucking brawlers and stuff. Okay. But it's Mainly been fighting. All right. All right. Tell me what you thought of E3 as a whole. I thought E3 was, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cool. You think it's on the up or on the down? From last year? Sure. The current market trend. I don't know. I don't. I. I it did its job in making me excited for games coming up and mm-hmm. games in the future. Mm-hmm. Like early 2019 seems like ripped my wallet because mm-hmm. everything's coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, I don't know. I would say if I had to pick an up or down and not just like it's been steady, like I'd say it's on the up. Good. There's a lot of good games coming out. Neo 2 got announced. Mm. Like the only negative is like Smash Bros got announced, so that's fucking stupid. But... No, no, no. The only <laughs> negative is that they didn't show any Metroid. Nah, that's fine. There's no F0. Yeah, no F0, no Metroid 4. I'm sure they'll say that for Gamescom. Right. Right. Cuz that's a thing now. Still, you never know. I want a Matroid. You never know. I want a Matroid. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of good games that got announced. Yeah. But I don't know. Right now, I'm not too focused on them, like, because I'm still busy catching up with stuff from this year. Uh, yeah, so. see, I'm catching up with stuff from last year. So. <laughs> from a, <laughs> a little behind there, bud. A little bit. A little bit. From 2015. Now. You should play three Yakuza games in a row. I could. Yes. But there's this game that I'm trying to play right now. What's it called? Called Final Fantasy VI. Why are you playing VI? Because it's on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Wait, are you actually playing through VI? Yeah, I, I booted up okay. the start screen. Wow. The I made free, it. I made you got it. to the first save file? I made a save file. Did you hear the song go? Dun, 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 dun. Who can say? Who can say? Did you pilot a Magitech? No. Oh, yes, in the beginning. In the very beginning. In the beginning, yes, you when you're walking through the town. Yeah. Yeah. Do you plan on getting all of the Moogle dances? No. Do you plan on getting all of Gao's land moves or whatever? No. <laughs> no. You're fucking casual. No, good. Do you plan on saving the guy who gets Mimic? From, Listen, from have you beat dinosaur? this game? No, you have not. Oh, fuck, I haven't. <laughs> fuck, stupid technicalities. <laughs> all right, if people don't haven't heard this story... I played Final Fantasy VI on a bootleg Game Boy Advance copy. Yep. And the first time I went through it, I got all the way to Kefka's Castle. Oh. And I was probably in like maybe midway through Kefka's Castle, and the battery died mm-hmm. and took away my save. And when I was talking about the battery in the Game Boy, like the battery in the cart. Yeah, in the cart died, and it erased my save. Yeah. So I was like, fuck. But I was like, okay, this game's really good. I'm going to start from the beginning. I started and I played it again, mm. but this time I got all the Moogle dances. I got all of Gao's moves. I got uh, the dude in the sandworm who knows Mimic. Yeah. I was OP. And then I got to the same safe point and it erased my save. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So I've gotten to Kefka's castle twice. Watch, I'll beat this game before I and haven't beat it. I'll beat this game for you. Whatever, I kept good on my promise, and I beat God of War before you. Yeah, but I never claimed that I was going to beat that no, game. No, you claimed it. No, I, I, run, run I claimed that I was going to play it. Run the tapes back. Yeah, run yeah, the tapes yeah. back. But I think we're going to save weeks for next week. Yeah. 
uh, along with our regularly scheduled programming. For sure. Uh, before we go, game of the show? Game of the show. Uh, Ghost of... No, Ghost of Tsushima Mario Party. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no. Ghost of Tsushima is not... That's like disappointment of the show. Like, oh, I'll, I'll agree with that. <laughs> that's like, yeah, this disappointment of the show. Uh, as I go through this list of video games, I would probably say... Hmm, I don't know. I, I'd probably say... Last of Us 2. Because it's something that actually showed gameplay. It's coming out relatively soon. And it wasn't just an announcement trailer. Mm. So, the stuff I got to see. Right? The other the other choice would be like Neo 2. But they didn't show anything. So. Last of Us 2 does look good. It's hard to top that one. That Ellie one's pretty good. murders fools in that game. She is. <laughs> but you know who murders harder? Laura Croft she murders. She does. She does murder harder. She murders in very specific ways. She's she's Batman. Okay, I'll pick. I'll go. I'll go the other side. I'll pick Shadow the Tomb Raider. All right. Okay. We uh, both both, <laughs> both murder simulators. <laughs> yeah. Both female murder simulators. With bows yeah. and crafting on the fly. With bows crafting on the fly. Yeah. And strong female leads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is the better murder? Uh, okay. At least pretty rough, man. She is. She stabbed that guy in the neck twice. She is. But Laura is also an animal shot that dude through with a rope arrow and then hung him from a tree. Oh, yeah, it's my hero. <laughs> it's the hero we need. Yeah. And the hero we deserve. Exactly. So that's uh, E3 in a yeah, nutshell. We kind of ran through it. Yeah. Yeah, we did. But that's good. We didn't we didn't uh, bog down on anything. Exactly. Uh, I thought it was good sh- it was good showing for what I saw in compressed yeah. in a day. What, so is, are are we still confirmed though that Ghost of Tsushima is the disapp- wor- yeah. well, disappointment of the show? Oh man, that's Fuck, an awful yeah. game. That's an awful that game. game looks like shit. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that's a. It, it looks so stiff. It looks so stiff. I can't believe there's a guy up at the top, like being like, "Yes, more of this. Yes, yes." I don't know. Like I see yeah, at some point, I can't tell if it's an homage to those old shitty 70s movies well the thing is like i don't even have an issue with the clicheness of it yeah i just think it like in bad in animation like stills and stuff look pretty cool Mm. but playing the game all the animation seems super stiff you're right and it doesn't look very nice all right all right then cool 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 that's it awesome uh let us know what you guys thought v3 send them your uh questions emails just tell us your favorites and why it's your favorite. And if you agree with us. Yeah. And you probably do, because you listen to the show. Yeah, they all agree that Smash is very no. underwhelming of a game. No. Okay, yeah, please write in. Tell us. <laughs> tell us which is going to be our Switch adventure this Christmas. Mario Party or Smash Ultimate? Mario Party, obviously. This reminds me of that time when we always go around asking people where they're like, hey, which is your favorite Mario 3? Yeah, or- they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they're all wrong. We always ask people. Mario me. Party, Mario. Sorry, Mario Party. Mario, Super Mario Three is the best Mario. Super Mario World is very good. But the thing is, it's a close second. Every time we go and ask somebody, they always say World because they're all casuals. Oh, because they're like me. They're right. They don't know about Karibo Shoe. No, right. they they know, and they have actively chosen no. to erase that memory. They from don't their mind. know about Karibo Shoe. They don't understand mm. Karibo Shoe. All right, great. Thanks. See you guys next week. See you later.